Hey everyone, Firegross here, and today we're going to be talking about sacred orbs, base type variants, and the calculators I've put together that show how unimpactful these changes actually are. So for those of you who aren't in the loop, GGG told us that armor innovation items when they drop are going to receive 0 to 10% additional defenses and energy shield will receive up to 20% additional defenses rolled randomly in a non-modifiable way and they later on amended this today with the introduction of the sacred orb. The proposal for the sacred orb is that it's going to be a super rare currency, it's the second rarest item in the game just under a mirror and it's about three times rarer than an exalted orb and it's going to allow you to reroll this base amount of increased defense. So following some very heated discussion from the community, Bex decided to chime in and explain that actually, base type variance doesn't work the way the community thought it was going to work in the first place. So many people are expecting base type variants to just be this like 20% multiplier on top of the entire item. So like if you had, for example, 500 energy shield from Avaragelia, you'd now have 600 energy shield from Avaragelia. And turns out that's not at all how it works out. It's only a multiplier to the base amount of energy shield evasion or armor on an item. All the other flat bonuses, percentage bonuses, etc. are kind of unaffected by it. So it's actually a lot weaker than we think. So calculating for a Valregalia with a T1 triple prefixes, you're only getting at most about 12% more energy shield with a 20% variance roll. That's a lot less than what a lot of people thought, and that also kind of means this isn't going to really be as big a deal as a lot of people thought. I think a lot of people are expecting a huge swing in defense and power from this, and it's not at all. Um, these calculations are also done not including the bonus quality that you're going to be getting uh, as a suffix. Now, suffix quality as a craft is being removed next patch, so uh, when I punch it in, you'll see what I mean. Basically, variance at max roll on a Varigalia is only giving you like 6% more energy shield. It's really not that big a deal. Now, this isn't to say that the change is bad or good. I don't personally have a very strong opinion on it either way. I am just gonna kinda let it play out and see how it goes, and I will make up my mind after I've played with it and had a good feel for it. Uh, I know a lot of people in the community feel very strongly about it, but I actually think the reality is that this change is going to be almost invisible. I don't think it's going to matter that much, and looking and playing around with the numbers here, I actually don't think even I'm gonna care that much about it. You know, like, if I get a set of really good rolls on a certain item or like I have an enchanted helm with a T1 base type, I don't really think I'm going to care that much about the base type variants. It's kind of okay if it's at a bad roll. I'm probably not going to feel compelled to sacred orbit up to a higher roll or anything. I, I just don't see a lot of evidence that variance is going to matter and I've prepared calculators for everyone also to sort of see for themselves, you know? You don't have to take my opinion for it. I I am a very opinionated person but I'm I can be wrong, I guess. Uh, and I'd rather you guys just sort of have access to the math and you can make up your own minds based on the numbers. Alright, so I'll explain how these calculators work and then I'll send you guys off on your way to sort of figure out what you want to do on in your own time. Okay, so basically we have base type variance calculators for every type of base type. So we have armor, evasion, energy shield, and then the three hybrids, armor, evasion, energy shield, armor, and then energy shield, evasion, right? Of course, I'm not going to do the triple hybrid since that's kind of impractical, but you also have reference lists on the side that sort of show you the top three or four items for each slot so you can kind of see what their values are and then input them here. Now the way this calculator is going to work, let's say you want to calculate for a glorious plate, you're going to see that it has 776 uh, base armor, you're going to put that in there. The prefix number one is the percentage increased armor. Now the top roll here is 110, that's a tier one roll. Now if you want to do a lower tier, feel free to just sort of like pop in whatever number you want, but I've shown the max value since I guess a lot of people want to look at hypothetically the top end and then down here you have the low end. So uh, you could just kind of, you, you input the percentage increase, you know, 110% increased armor, you put 40, uh, 400 flat armor as the second prefix and then the hybrid stun and block recovery as well as increased energy shield is 42%. So you input those numbers there, the base quality is going to be 30, the bonus quality, that's the quality that you're going to craft at the bottom, so you see those like hybrid crafts which is like uh, dex and quality for example. 
that's 18. Uh, well, 18 is, is the highest you can get it to, I believe, off the top of my head. And then the variance here is going to be zero because we're calculating for 315 values. And you're going to get your total armor from a glorious plate uh, that's going to be rolled under these circumstances. And then the 316 numbers, which are over here. Now, this is all calculated for you. These calculators work the same as my other calculators. In the blue boxes are the calculations. You don't have to do anything. You only have to type in to the green boxes. And that means that you're going to have to change the variance bonus down here. So we're assuming a max of 10% in this case, and we're getting 3,535 here compared to 3,528. So as you can see, basically, the, the short of it is that with like a max roll armor or evasion item for the most part, you're getting almost the exact same value with max variance compared to what you're losing from ha not having access to the 18% quality on an armor item. But you get access to an extra suffix right so you can craft an extra mod on and that's going to be a suffix because you no longer have to craft this hybrid quality onto your gear in order to reach those numbers so we're kind of losing power from one perspective and we're gaining it back from another way i'm gonna leave that up to you guys to interpret how that works out the variance types are modified depending on the type of defense you're getting now i'm making the assumption that the hybrid energy shield types are going to get 20 percent variance like the base 20 percent that energy shield's getting that could be wrong and a lot of these numbers are subject to change too i'm gonna try and update them if we get information that says it's gonna change but for now they appear to be completely accurate so i would go off these now the second calculator i've included is the non-prefix calculator and the way this just works is it removes prefixes because the reality is for a lot of these items you don't care about the prefixes you just want high life rolls or you might be rolling you know like getting body armor that's a hunter body armor where it's like life and percent life stuff like that or you're looking at pre uh suffixes and you know there, there's a whole bunch of reasons why you probably don't care that much about the prefixes but you still want a tier one base type to get as much of the armor or evasion or energy shield as possible without investing deep into it and that's what the non-prefix calculator does it works the exact same as the first calculator except it removes the prefix rolls so you can just kind of input the base values up here the base quality the bonus quality and then the variance bonus and then you're going to get comparisons down the bottom and it's as simple as that now just as an added bonus i've included all these calculators as part of the original document i uploaded the other day that includes the armor the evasion reservation efficiency and energy shield recharge calculators i've also updated two of the old calculators so the reservation efficiency has a new type of calculator on it that allows you to put custom aura types in here and that's for spell singer mostly so you can figure out how much you're going to be reserving with certain spell singer setups and then you can you know just type in the amount of reservation you're going to be getting from each type of aura so these are just example numbers you don't really have to pay attention to them and then with the armor calculator you can now calculate fizz taken as x so let's say you have on gear you know 25 percent fizz taken as chaos damage you know with a dark scorn for example you can now calculate that into uh the old armor calculator and it's, it's going to work with it so it's going to correctly work out that you know like 20 percent of 5,000 is 1,000 and that 1,000 is, is being mitigated by 750 which is you know 75 percent elemental resistance you might want to change this number if you really have to you know because you have increased max elemental resistance it doesn't really matter that much in the end so i'm not gonna bother doing it and we're kind of running out of room i didn't want to make it like super complicated for people but yeah that so i've updated the old calculators and if you have access to the old document you can just open it and make another copy and you're going to get all the new calculators all in a single document i'm also going to include the link for this again in the description of this video now I'm sorry, last last time, guys. I uh, <laughs> I forgot to include the link. I promise I will include it this time. I promise it's going to be in there, guaranteed, 100%. If you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.